I have not really posted a lot of Pat McGrath videos around here lately. I've had so many other new products in my collection that I've been testing and playing around with and you just know, you know I've been missing my Gale Pats. I really have. And I just need to dig back in and start playing with my Mothership palettes again because it's just been too long. And I feel like you guys probably want to start seeing some more pack content as well. I've been seeing the little comments. <laughs> anyway, um, what I thought I would do is a lot of the times when I do Pat McGrath series or anything like that, I do end up creating quite more glam looks probably. Sometimes they're not full, full glam, but they are a little bit more glam than say like a very casual everyday look because honestly the special shades in a Pat McGrath um, palette just really, they just inspire that kind of eye look for me. But I have asked you guys before if you wanted kind of a wearable Pat McGrath Labs Mothership series and to get some inspo for just like how to use your Mothership palettes on the everyday, especially for kind of work looks. And it was a very resounding yes. So I thought that's what we would start doing. We are going to start today with Subliminal. Mothership one and then we will work our way through my entire Pat McGrath Labs collection. So I've got all nine Motherships plus Celestial Odyssey and two Bridgerton palettes and I also have a quad so if I feel if I feel up to it I'll use the quad as well. Hopefully this all sounds interesting to you. Now if it does let's do the YouTubey things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. I'm actually getting ready for work right now so we're getting ready together for the day hopefully that would be nice and I'm just gonna quickly pop some gimme brow just to I just really like to do this to kind of give my brows some shape uh, this isn't the stage where I like to do my full brows, but if I'm going to do my eyes first, I just need a little bit of a zhuzh through the brows, you know? I'm also going to take a little bit of the foundation I'm going to use today and just pop a little bit over the lids just to kind of marry it all together. Now listen, I'm not sure if this is going to be like a 10 days or like longer, I guess, because I've got more palettes now. However many palettes I have days of Pat McGrath where I post every single day in a row, or if I'm just going to kind of maybe do five and five or spread it out a little bit more than that, just because I really don't know with work how I'm going to go for timing wise, because every time I've done like a 10 days of Pat McGrath or even like a I think I did 10 days or 11 days of Natasha Denona where I posted every day in a row. I actually had annual leave and that's how that was possible. I'm just taking my Rare Beauty eye primer. I use an eye primer regardless of how quick I'm rushing in the morning because my hooded eyes don't like it if I do not prime. So yeah, I don't know. We're going to find out together. You will see probably from the title of this what we're going to do. We will find out together, but I will do it whether it's spread out or all in a row. I will do every pa um, palette that I own, I promise. I promise, okay? It's not a subliminal video or a Pat McGrath Labs video, really, if I don't dip into this shade from subliminal first. This, I am so close to hitting pan on, and I'm just like, come on, can I get it? Just wanna hit pan on a few of my pat shadows, you know? Just feel like they're so expensive, it's just, it's gonna be satisfying. Now this is a Reva, uh, a Reva. This is a Reva 16, and I'm just gonna lightly fluff this through the crease. Now I'm gonna try and film most of these videos, most of them will be honestly, filmed in very early in the morning before my work day so that you guys can actually see, like I'm getting ready for work. This is legitimately what I would wear. Now I do work from home. So, you know, I can get away with more, really just wearing whatever the hell I want. To be honest, I can really get away with wearing whatever the hell I want, even in the office. Um, my company's kind of like a bit more hip, a bit more cool, if you will. <laughs> and because I work in, tra even though I work in corporate travel, um, because it is travel, it's a bit more lax. It's not that super, super corporate environment. But I don't like to go too, too heavy because I'm quite young looking at the best of times. And I know what, a, like what a just problem to have. But as a senior leader in a corporate environment, looking super young, being a woman, um, I'm just taking an angle brush and dipping into the same shade. Is uh, it's It has its challenges about, you know, certain things. My personality kind of counteracts that. People learn pretty quickly not to be fooled by my young looking face. Um, but yeah, I don't like to go too, too crazy. I do like to, especially when I have days of full meetings with external stakeholders, just because, um, you know, I don't want them distracted by my makeup, to be fair. So I do, some days I can go a bit more glam. 
and some days I keep it very very neutral. It also depends on how much time I have, fun fact. Some days I just do a lot of, lately I've been doing a lot of one and done shadows, I've really been getting into some one and done's again. Now this is my Refer 14 and I'm just dipping into a little bit of this shade from Subliminal. I don't mind a bit of a um, one and done. So, and I know some of you guys have asked for a one and done shadow video and I just, I can absolutely film that, but a lot of it is just me picking certain shades from different palettes I own and using them as one and dones. Is that still interesting to watch? Because I don't have a lot of, like, I don't have really many single shadows or like cream shadows or anything that I use. It's mainly just like shadows that I pick from my palettes that I'm like, oh yeah, this all over the lid is brilliant. So if that's interesting to you guys, let me know in the comments and I can absolutely film that because that's fun and easy to film. I just didn't know if that would actually be of any interest, you know? So I've just packed this onto the outer corner first. Um, because I have hooded eyes, you know, I like to really deepen the crease a bit because otherwise I, I just find that my eyes look extra hooded. Um, but if you, one, don't even wanna do this regardless of your eye shape, just leave this step out. And then two, if you don't have hooded eyes and you're like, I don't really need that step, then you do you as well. It just depends on your eye shape and your makeup preference, really. I'm just dipping back into that first sublim uh, that first transition shade, sorry, with my Refer 16. And I'm just going to use that to buff out the edges. And then remember, no matter how much of a rush you are in, in the mornings, my friends, especially with a pat. McGrath matte shade. Do not press too hard. You just want to go really soft and light because otherwise you're going to rue the day with her pat, with her matte shadows. I'm taking my Pat Intensify stick and I'm just going to lay this down where I want to put my metallic shadow. Now you guys will have to really keep me informed in the uh, uh, in the comments, not the description box because you can't write in there, in the comments down below if you are enjoying this and you want me to keep going because um, I don't know if these are going to be boring. So yeah, you just let me know. I might take it on my finger first. I'm actually going to put this shadow on. I really like this kind of cool tony. It's like a cool tone gunmetal purple almost. And it's very, very pretty. This is probably a little bit darker than even I anticipated, but here we are. Now I'm going to do my base makeup now. So we're going to do a speed through of that and then we'll come back, finish up the lower lash line, all that jazz, and see the finished look see. So base makeup is done and I just quickly went and did my hair. Um, for those of you that are new around here, I actually suffer from hair loss. I have very, 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 very thin and fine hair. So I wear wigs and hair toppers like on the everyday because I still want to experiment with my hair and pretend like I do have hair. So this is my hair topper and I got it cut recently with a fringe and I'm feeling it. So that's why we're wearing it a bit at the moment. So it probably covers up the eye look a little bit, but... Sorry, not sorry. I'm just grabbing my BK203 and dipping into that transition shade. And I will just run that underneath the lower lash line. I'll try and move my fringe a little bit so that you can see. 
For the inner corner, we're just gonna go into this one right here. I really like how this is looking. I actually think, like, it just looks so simple and just almost like without the base and like your hair and everything done, you're just like questioning all your choices, but then now it's all come together and it's looking really pretty. If you wanted to make it a little bit extra sparkly, just either pop this one or this one, take it on your finger and tap it over the top. I'm not gonna do that because I'm trying to keep it, I am trying to keep it a little bit more low key. Um, and then for mascara, I'm going to take a mixture of Pillow Talk and Rare Beauty. Actually, I'm just gonna use Rare Beauty because that looks lovely on its own. So the eyes are done and I'm loving them. And now we just have to do lips. So I'm taking my Pat McGrath uh, lip liner in the shade Contour. And then I'm gonna take my Givenchy Sheer Velvet in the shade 10. It's also winter here at the moment. So wearing like a look like this is very winter vibes for me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, zoom you guys back, shall we? Okie dokie, this is the finished makeup look using Pat McGrath Labs Subliminal Mothership One. Mothership One always has my heart. It is one of my all time favorite motherships. It's just spectacular. And this might be a little bit glam for some of you. If it is, just don't use that darker shade. Just stick with the first transition shade and then you could pop this all over the lid and it would be a lot softer. For me, this is still very neutral, but a little bit sultry to add a little bit of spice to the day. But still for me, this would, I could honestly go into the office like this. It'd be completely fine. Uh, as a side note, I did use the Uoma by Sharon C foundation. If you're in America, you can get this from Walmart. I'm in the shade Fair Lady T2. And this is lovely. It's almost like a slightly lighter coverage version of the normal Uoma foundation. And I really, really like it. So fun facts. Anyway, this is the finished look. Stay tuned for the rest of the Mothership palettes and other palettes that I have from Pat in my collection. Uh, we will know from the title of this video if I'm going to do every day. If it says like day one, that means that I'm going to do every day in a row. Or I'm just going to put a comment right here actually because I just don't know. It's just going to depend on timing. Anyway. That's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this boring? Should I just give up already? Or did you have a good old time? And uh, yeah, always let me know down below. Pretty please. Thank you. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.